Hey, what's going on? How's it going, Luke? I'm doing hello, pretty good. Hello. Hello. Um, okay, is it? It's Tony. Yes, that's me. All right. Hello. I'm just waiting for Isaac. He'll be here in a second. Um, and you send me the room, so I'll. Isaac's gonna be your co-host. That's awesome. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Marvel Casino. I hope you opened up some seats. Yeah, we got yeah, lots yeah. of room. I opened up five. Nice. Two five, just in case. Just in case Luke brought a whole gang. <laughs> yeah. All right. Show me. All right, so, um, all right, as before Isaac gets here, I might as well just go through my little pregame thing. So, um, your rosters are out, that's great. So, once Isaac is here, we're going to leave this chat and we'll go into our own chat. Uh, if you give us about 90 seconds or so after I do my little stream introduction, I'm... Hello, everyone. We are live with another game. That's right, Patrick. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, first, uh, so this is a season 13 top 16 game between Kyle and Tony. Tony's on the blue side. Kyle's on the red side. Let's see what they're bringing. We have a, uh, okay, <laughs> this is a convocation list with Thanos. And and we've also got Modoc here, which is there enough criminals? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So it looks like this is a convocation list, bars with no doors. That's very very cool. On the other side, we have Tony playing defenders. He's been playing this for a little while, as according to Longshanks. We've got he's bringing along Crimson Dynamo and Ulic. and the rest look like they're defenders. So very cool. Let's see, is he bringing the portal? Looks like he is not... Oh, here it is. The Pentagram of Ferala. All right. I'm going to let them know we're live. Joining me on commentary is Isaac. How are you? Hey, man. How's it going? Thanks for um, having me. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. This is a back-to-back -back stream day, kind of. Two streams a day, so uh, it's a good day. Yeah, you were doing the morning one for the uh, some of the UK games, right? For yeah, the, Pat. Like, uh, Pat games? versus Maxijon from, the, from Australia. So, 
Yeah, the uh, another another Thanos in the in the top uh, in the top cuts here. We're seeing lots of him. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been showing up everywhere. What do you think of the convocation team that Kyle brings? I think I saw on Longshanks that he just uh, he just won an event. I think it was like a 20, 20 plus person event, and he brought convocation. So this, I'm guessing, this is the list he brought. Yeah, I actually thought he was bringing defenders for a second, but I may have misread his earlier list. Or was that, um, or was that Kyle that was bringing that? Kyle's bringing the the convocation, and Tony is on. He's bringing the convocation. Gotcha. Yeah. So I, yeah, he just won an event. Kyle just won an event locally. It was like I think twenty-two or twenty-four players, and he brought convocation. I'm guessing it's gonna be this. We got demons downtown and research station. So it's gonna Ooh. be a, it's gonna be a banger. <laughs> right down the right down the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With uh, yeah. crimson dynamo and like I'm thinking, I'm just thinking like how he handles the convocation side of it because Daredevil doesn't like mystic attacks. He has the pentagram yeah. though. Which is very interesting. The pentagram uh, the, that's been—it's like a new thing now. Vince Kirkoff covered uh, Eric, who play who played this uh, this team, has been like championing this team. Like there were like that that tactic card specifically. And yeah, uh, they've, been, they've been hyping it up pretty pretty hard. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. There's no Ghost Rider in the defenders list, which I thought I thought was like uh, an important piece, but but um. So let's see. It'll be interesting to see if he brings out the portal. Uh, they were saying how demons. I've I've been reading like Discord and all that about it because it's very interesting. And I think they mm-hmm. were saying that the demons, uh, demon portals is probably one of the best secures for it. However, with a researcher, it might like I don't know what the question marks. It's uh, it brings up question marks, right? Because the idea with the portal is you can like bounce through it while you're holding your extracts and not have to worry about dropping them. Um, so I just don't know. It's a lot of question marks here, but both, both players brought something to bang with, right? They're both going to clash. Yeah. His his other, was it, um, you have demons and Fisk as well. I didn't catch what he originally Oh, so we can check out the game chat. Oh, they might've already, uh, the game chat has Kyle's roster pulled up here because we jumped in after they had. Because you're right with, with the researcher being able to move the. The portals are a little harder to to situate because you don't know where the game's gonna end up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It says f- fifteen third. Is that what they said? Yeah, fifteen. Perfect. All right, so this is gonna be a a fifteen point. It's gonna not very many characters here. Do you think we're gonna see Thanos at fifteen here on Researcher? Thanos, it's, Supreme it's Strange, tough. and something else maybe. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think we're gonna see a, like. Are we gonna see the the defenders? Are we going to see the defenders play like Hulk, Luke Cage, Wong, Daredevil? Or something else? Wong. I, want, uh, I mean, I, I I play a bit, bit of Hulk and on Demons it's real tough. He just, he just starts to really melt, even at 15. Uh, that might not be a lot of attacks on your opponent's side, but, you know, rolling threes and twos on Hulk can really start to, to end them real quick. Yeah. I don't like these big guys don't really like to be incinerated, right? Even Thanos, it's like, uh, it like basically like my thinking on defense dice is that the more dice you have, the more likely you are to spike and like save your dice, save yourself from like, from getting spiked, uh, from, from the attacking dice. But like, I don't Mm -hmm. know. They're not like, that's really like my position on it. Like the four dice means that you're twice as likely to spike a defense roll and save yourself on it when the attacker spikes. But like the typically Uh, like you can't really rely on them too much. Um, Oh, look at that. We have, we have the list. Thanos, strange one. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got strange uh, Hulk and Crimson Dynamo. Oh, wow. This is crazy. You're You're on the money. Yeah, this is. Um, I I thought the defenders might go wider, but we did see a Thanos versus Hulk like that 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 matchup happen, and Thanos was able to control Hulk pretty for the game for the most part. So I was nervous yeah, for the defender side, but I like that they're both bringing some pretty some pretty nice pieces here. And and Tony on the blue side has like three characters that can bring output. This is pretty. This is gonna be just a kind of bloodbath. No, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 
Sofflo pointed it in the chat. There's no leadership on the defender side. He's playing he's playing unaffiliated. <laughs> All right, there you go. I guess just to make it work, I guess he he needed these tools thinking that he was gonna bring Thanos, right? Yeah, I think this is cool. I dig it. Uh, I think it's totally reasonable. <laughs> Alpha Merc. He th he did not Alpha Merc did not think that uh we'd be seeing the uh, Kyle bring what he brought. So it looks like Strange is the leader over here. And yeah, we're seeing Man, it's uh this is really this is really interesting. He can technically be defenders. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He didn't have to be the the convocation here. I think you had by bringing the card, do you have to be I think you have to be convocation affiliated to bring the card just because it it's got that label on it. So so yeah, I know so this is pretty interesting. I think that uh Tony could have brought Ancient One instead of Crimson Dynamo here, and maybe he just should have splashed like the bar with no doors, and then he could have done the the convocation pivot at fifteen. I don't know. This is this is new territory for me. I have not seen these uh, these rosters before, so uh, I'm very interested. yeah. Likewise, I don't play I don't play into a lot of uh, convocation, so I'm going to be learning a lot in this game. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Isaac, you're um, we're both in the Ontario meta, and that's where I I invited you on because Kyle is part of our right. local meta and he's the one who usually hosts the events at uh in burlington and uh and we were Fortunately, both at yeah. an event uh, we were both at an event that he hosted recently so that was a lot of fun yeah i got my uh, ass kicked by uh curtis and then kyle later on uh, kicked my ass and uh ttc uh pts uh it's called the group stages yeah the, the swiss part of the yeah Whoops. He played uh, webs against my uh, Wakanda and just like annihilated me. Oh, they got the clocks going here. Yeah. The um, but you still made it into cuts though, right? I thought you weren't were you uh, didn't you make a first I round did, of yeah. cuts? Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I played against uh I lost to a uh, close game against Healthfire. I think you were you yeah, you were streaming that one. Yeah, yeah. And um but it was a lot of fun playing in my first kind of like TTS league. Yeah, that to make to make it into cuts on your first league, man. I uh, I didn't do that. I <laughs> I <laughs> so dude that's a huge uh, that's awesome a good a good start you gotta get you gotta you gotta get lucky at first but uh yeah, but yeah it was really yeah. it was really fun meeting um some other folks across uh kind of the east coast and north america yeah it is very cool alpha Merc is asking if uh going to the next torchlight i am not going to the next torchlight i i feel like it was too much to ask my what to even ask my wife because i am going to adepticon leaving in i don't know what is it today's sa oh, saturday so yeah, I'm leaving on Wednesday, oh, that's, that's, driving down. That's sick. Yeah, it you're is. Playing the event or? Yeah, I'm playing in. I'm playing in every possible event I can. I bought a ticket for every event for each day, and the only reason I wouldn't play an event uh, that I bought a ticket for is if I make it into cut on either the challenger or the right. timeline event. Then I would. Then I would give yeah. up my ticket for uh, to play sense. in the cut. So I, uh, no matter what, I'm guaranteed to get games every day. And uh, I'm excited. I'm mostly excited just to see a bunch of people who I've only met online. Like that's like really cool. And uh, yeah. and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it looks like we have Wong has moved up, and same with Crimson Dynamo. So I'm playing I mean, it pretty safe. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how much narration we need here. I think like with three yeah. characters on each side, it's like it's it might be. Yeah, yeah, we might. Uh, we might understand what's happening. Uh, I, I might, we don't even need commentary. We both have so much. Both have so much control too, right? So I'm curious to see how both of them like open up here. Yeah. Are you going to the next torchlight? Unfortunately, I cannot. I had prearranged plans, but uh, these days I'm trying to make it up to every torchlight. Nice. Yeah. It's it's like the uh, for anyone who's not a local of Isaac and mine, uh, the torchlight events are like a lot of the best players go to those ones. I'm not saying the best players also don't go to other events, but it's like. I feel like it's the main one. It's the it's uh, yeah. It's it, it, yeah. It critical mass where like everyone tries to make the. To it's make like the in the point. center of where every other event is held, right? So it's like, of course, uh, mm -hmm. all the big players kind of meet up in there. All right, so we have uh, Thanos throwing an attack into Crimson Dynamo, and uh, yes. looks like he's not. He's got three. He didn't get the throw. Oh, so. but uh, but he had to re-roll. So, so Dynamo moved up, and he used his ability to gain power, basically to prevent this from doing a lot of, uh, like, right? by He allowed him to use his 
what's it called? Man, I always forget. Uh, Disruption Field. So he that's how he was able to yes. basically tank what Thanos offered him this this uh, on this attack. Which lets him reroll up to two of Thanos' dice after the fact. Um, so it yeah. definitely makes him a bit tankier in that sense yeah i like the uh yeah it makes he makes a lot of sense logically the i mean what the problem that thanos is going to have here is that he won't be able to control both dynamo and hulk like i mean he maybe he could mm-hmm. with his attacks but uh but if crimson dynamo is there <laughs> his attacks can't do that because they need wild triggers so it's um it's put kyle in an interesting position where like he which one is harder which one do i need to cosmic portal away and which one do i need to try to daze and ko um and uh yeah so i think that's really interesting one I thing mean, i with, go ahead well with both of them having you know strange and, and, and a big big model like hulk and danos to be able to control and attack each other i wonder if it's going to come down to how much uh work dynamo can do right because ultimately wong's not going to do much in terms of the attrition so this might come down to them trying to control each other, but then Dynamo just kind of popping off each turn. Yeah, another thing here that's interesting is that Strange, I think, is within two of both of his teammates. So he might be able to get one damage throw on, on Thanos, maybe here. And he could, uh, turns on his portal, right? His uh, his scalpel. Mm-hmm. So let's see if he can do that. Looks like he is going to push through damage with, with uh, Kyle blocking zero. Four hits on four dice. There it is. See, like he's measuring the plane, the the scalpel of Strange, so he can teleport either of his two characters range three, which is really uh, cool. But the question is, like, how far up would you put Hulk? Because Strange hasn't activated yet. He's got four power. Kyle's Strange has four power to be able to teleport and throw two attacks down range. So uh, he looks like he's doing it though, spending four power and just shoving Hulk down the down the gullet here, <laughs> down the middle. <laughs> All right, uh, it's good. I guess, I guess even if even if Kyle tries to push him back, he can still double walk and throw Thanos if that's what his main objective is here. Yeah, I uh, rather I think than being that... pushed to the edge of his board, right? Because that because if he didn't do that, potentially Strange walks up and just throws Hulk to the far left. Yeah, interesting that uh, I'm looking at their tactic cards. I don't think I read through them, but uh, Tony playing marked for death here is like a is it a, is it a strange killing? Like you know what I mean? Like you completely shut down his defensive, uh, his ability to reroll dice. Um, so you can hit him with that physical attack on that at uh, that spender that one cost spender, and he won't be able to do any reroll. So he's just a natural, a normal. Naked, three. a yeah. naked three defense, six health character, which of course in today's meta is super fragile. So, yeah, this is uh, this is in really, this is really interesting here. I'm, <laughs> it's gonna be round two is gonna be pretty messy. Looks like Kyle's gonna end up controlling the researcher. So, uh, yeah, so Hulk will be able to. Away. So Hulk will be able to move and leap oh, walk and, and, and attack someone, yeah. and then throw someone. So he's actually. I think uh, if we get the wild, if he gets the wild, which I think we're gonna see him get. Like I mean, the odds are in his favor. Then we're gonna see Tony actually win the researcher. Um, but yeah, it's all dependent on that wild here. And this is where Crimson Dynamo is gonna be I'm so sick. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe. Yeah, no, he's so he big though. A little bit there. He it did, but his yeah, base he, is he so big that yeah, yeah, like it's yeah. not gonna matter. <laughs> Kyle was really hoping to get him uh, stuck there. So Isaac, what have you been playing lately? A lot of Killmonger too, which has been a lot of fun. Um, as my leader, you don't I don't, I don't see him often these days, but uh, I think the reception of Killmonger two was quite low when he got released. But I've been having a lot of fun with him. Um, playing with him uh, with uh, Cosmic Carol to get her, you know, Super Saiyan mode by round two, um, and uh, trying to play some of the you know the hyper pounce team with like Apex, Black Panther, Killmonger two, uh, just a different flavor of Wakanda because I've been playing a lot of the uh, quote unquote like regular Wakanda right, the last right. few months. Okay, oh, looks he, uh, like... he finishes. He, yeah, he just finished. So throw he attacked into Strange, I think, right? And he didn't throw. Oh, he must have thrown. I'm not seeing what... How did he spend... Oh, he only did one damage, so he yeah. couldn't throw. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what was happening. Patrick saying my freaking Thor got dazed on his own turn against Killmonger 2. 
Oh, look, we got a little bit of a. Uh... His... How did how does what is Killmonger have a the clapback or something? Um... He does have a clapback. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like saber tooth. Okay. Okay. Uh, does, yeah. He doesn't have the advance on it though, right? He just he just. Uh... No, no, it's it's not as good. Honestly, my my take on Killmonger too is like he's just a lot of fine, but maybe if you put a bunch of fine together, he can actually end up being pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about his leadership is that it's it's uh it's a one attack hammer. Or it's a, mm-hmm. a cube, and you can pick which one it is. Right. I, someone on a podcast, yeah. I, I don't know who said it, because I listen to a lot of podcast content. So someone, I, I, I can't take credit for that, but it's a really, I mean, I like the way they looked at it, and uh, I can understand it being a leadership. Like, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's powerful enough to be a leadership. Yeah, both individually is underwhelming, but having the ability to throttle between both is, uh, I think, where some of the interesting play it happens yeah so so looks like uh hulk was needed he moved. needed the, the extra damage to be able to displace and, and keep the researcher tied in the middle uh and so now we have kyle is going to get the opening activation here let's see how he handles this what, what do you think what do we think he does here does he go with thanos early and uh and put and displaces yeah. someone out of the way or i don't know like it's these are games these games are very intense because every single activation is like critical and everyone on kyle's team is uh is incinerated which is you know gonna make it a little bit easier if uh tony wants to start the attrition yeah schmidt said well, last round a really hey, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say that Schmid said, he mentioned that the optimal play last round might have probably been just walk, walk, throw Thanos into Wong, who didn't have Brace because he gave his power to Strange, which I agree. I think that was, seems like, that was like a guaranteed thing to tie the to tie the point. But anyway, what were you going to say? Oh, I was literally going to say the same thing. I was like, you know, last, last round I was worried that uh, Wong was exposed to a Thanos throw because the angle's right there. Yeah. But uh, no, now that they're back up with power... Honestly, burn I, I like you know with classic brace, like making him burn it this early would be good, especially when you have Hulk on the board. Yeah, so he can. Thanos does have that wild strike. Okay, so he is displacing Dynamo. Let's see that range three come out because your the disruption field is a big. There we go. He's out of disruption field, oh, wow. and now yeah. he can attack into Hulk and strike him, which the wild trigger would throw him into Strange, and uh, yeah. So, and then you could do it again, maybe. I think the range yeah, is yeah, there to do it again. I think, it's, I think he's within range. So, it's looking like that's what he's opting to do. He's going with Thanos first. He's out, yeah, so he can't. Kyle won the researcher, right? He yes, that's what he pushed it forward. Closer, yeah, he's going, yeah, he's going all, he's going to dunk it here is what he's looking to do. <laughs> all right, Thanos rolling pretty, pretty poorly. You need, uh, he needs more than that. So, both... Hulk and Thanos here are uh, are just tickling each other right now. Let's see if that uh... <laughs> is a second attack. Yeah, here we go. Okay, okay. So all he right. rolls this all is, of his this dice. Is where it starts. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He gets all successes, two crits in there, and one of them converts, leading to seven successes to one block on Hulk. You pay four here to uh, to reroll your two misses, probably. Deaton saying, I like the same idea well. with Strange over Thanos. Much easier to lose Strange activations than Thanos. Yeah. It is true, but man, like if you lose that if you lose that Thanos activation, I don't know. It seems rough too. And you're staggered. Whoever you don't go with is staggered by Hulk next round. So it's just tough. Um yeah, it's a you're it's Especially with Dynamo there. I think the Dynamo play there was very smart. It makes the like the fact that he had a Cosmic Portal Dynamo away instead of Hulk, it, like obviously it's uh it shows that there's too many threats that Thanos can't handle all of them at uh compiled here into this this mess. <laughs> um all right. We got, a, we got a throw here. Barely misses the dumpster. I think. Do you do you roll this because you um you're gonna activate anyway, like with strange, and you can't die. I don't know. I, mean, I think you might roll this. He's thinking about it. I think is what's happening. 
Yeah. He's got Wong for stagger. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I yeah. Good catch. He oh, rolled it. Take all of it. He takes all five. Yeah. But wow. you here's, here's the idea though is that you jump in. Uh, you jump in and you. I don't know what he. What do you do, Schmidt? He's the complication player, and this is like Strange's, like his guy. All right. So, um, you roll a double spender there, Strange. Yeah, six versus two. Yeah, and you could play marked for death as well on him. And just murk him. And then all he has left is Wong. Yeah, that seems like that seems like what uh, Tony should do. Six versus two. Yeah, it's br- it's just brutal. And then you can put then you can bring co- uh, Dynamo in and uh and shock Thanos and Wong. I guess Wong could remove cover, but not not if Wong gets dazed. One could remove shock, I mean, but not if he gets dazed. And Hulk hasn't gone yet. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's tough when you only have two characters that can do damage versus three. Yeah, this is what I was worried about with uh, with Wong and uh, Thanos not having a lot of uh, damage activations. Yeah. The... Yeah. he Basically, Strange needs to activate here for Kyle or he's in a... He's got a problem. Oh, it looks like he is teleporting in here, putting himself on the researcher. Uh, we do have sacrifice. So you know what I bet would have happened is that uh, sacrifice would have been played on the second attack if Strange lived. And that's why he's like, that's the problem, right? You need you really need a one shot Strange here or else, um, <laughs> or else like sacrifice will hit Thanos. But I don't know. It looks like he's going into Thanos instead, which is totally reasonable too. Uh, you don't want to power up the Kyle Strange. And look at that. <laughs> Oof. Now the dice are coming out. Yeah. Took a little, took a little while. You can to also, up, oh but... yeah. Let's see, look at this guy, the Schmidt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. Teleporting. He can teleport to Strange too. Look at that. Yeah. And then he, then he has to take a move action or. He's stuck not on a secure. Maybe. Uh, it depends. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Because you get him outside of range three of your team. So. Hulk not going yet can, you know, he can start uh, peeling away these models from each other to avoid the sacrifice. Yeah. Looks like we're hitting a sacrifice play is what I'm seeing. Kyle's flipping the card maybe or. Hmm. Maybe so not. Maybe it's just a mistap. It was a mistap probably. We're going into Thanos, I think, here. Uh no three di- yeah three dice in the th- it must be Thanos. That's probably why he didn't attack Strange. Uh, now that I say that, because his builder is Mystic and Strange loves taking he spendered. <laughs> okay. Um, he rolled okay, so he spendered into Strange. Going to rem- let's see. Oh, I see. He did the he did the area attack. That's why he did the multi tab. All right, we're catching up. We're catching up. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. We got there. We got two crits on Tony's side. And he was able to remove the conditions off of Hulk, too, because of that triggers. He did the AoE. That's pretty cool. Shining Circle of Seraphim. He's rerolling all his dice here. And he gets the wild, oh, wow. the cleanse. Does he get the uh, salve? No, he misses the salve. So he gets the he gets the the condition removal, but he already had that. So no, nothing big. But that's still. Oh, that's uh, no damage, right? Because it's a it's a mystic. Yep. So strange. Now showing four. That's a block from strange. I think complete block because the wilds are reverse pierce. Teleporting Strange away was better. Like took, no, it looked like he took... Oh, sorry, the power came from the reverse pierce. Yes, correct. Yeah, so he uh, he got two power because he got two wilds too. So he got to undo two of his uh, of Tony's successes. Yeah, that's... Uh, look at that. Brady's already eyeing up with the next... Uh, the juicy activation coming up with... Supreme Strange here from Kyle's side. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna put some a lot more damage into Hulk, right? Uh, we do have sacrifice available to to Tony right now, so let's see if that happens. 
No sack. Oh yeah, no sack. Oh my gosh. I saw. I'm like. Uh, apparently, after one game, my brain is fried because I'm not. Because <laughs> Schmidt's like <laughs> way mean, ahead of me. Your, He's like uh, way ahead of me here. <laughs> All right. I'm. Oh man. You played your uh, cut game yesterday. You streamed this morning. You're... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't had a chance to turn off your brain. I know, I haven't yet. I got, I'm actually streaming the last game of the bracket uh, tomorrow at noon, uh, noon Eastern time, so that'll be that'll be fun too. <laughs> okay. Uh, are we seeing, what are we seeing here now? We just did an attack. Thanos death decreed it. So we're seeing... Strange activate. What attack was that? He's rolled. How did he death decree and not? Uh, he had attacking Hulk, but didn't he death decree? Like, where, where's the extra dice? Am I seeing six? Okay, all right, I see it now. Seven dice. So he played did a seven dice into Hulk. Look at that. Hulk has just got. We just oh, got man. absolutely murked there. Holy moly. This is a dangerous place to be for, for Tony. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, Schmidt's saying, like, you should have teleported uh, the Convocation, the Thanos team, Strange, so that he didn't get to do double attack into Hulk here. That's uh, that's wild. All right. He's going to do the spender? Uh, spender, six power. He's going to hit both of them. <laughs> and you got to hit Hulk first here, right, of course? Because, yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, for the sacrifice, yeah. Uh, I did so not like that. Kyle's position at the beginning of this game. But uh, after our, actually after that Thanos activation, I did not like where Kyle was. But he, uh, this could be brutal for Hulk. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. So Kyle's showing five. He's showing five into two blocks, taking three on Hulk. He's living on three. And he gets the wild for the cleanse on Thanos on his three his two characters. Yeah, so right now Kyle's the, uh, Kyle's Strange is going. So there's no healing on his end. No. But he got the wild. Yep, which is which is also great. Oh, hold on. He did the attack into Strange first. Yeah, yeah, that is weird, Brady. But I guess uh, he got lucky, I guess, pushing that damage through. That is super weird. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Wow, Kyle's just rolling. Oh my rolling goodness, look out. at these dead. Hulk is dead now. Wow. Uh, right? That's enough. Oh, maybe, maybe he is... One short, but he gets. He gets. He gets a reroll though. He gets on the Hulk. Um, no, not on Mystic. Not on Mystic. Oh, not on Mystic. Oh, you're right. Yes. So it looks like um, he doesn't get the conversion. Seven. Yeah, one health. Hmm. He's living on one. Hmm. That's uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a pretty good activation. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, this is where Wong walks in and punches him. Uh, yeah, I mean, Hulk's gonna go here and just like do what he can, right? Of course, he's gonna. Yeah. But that's um, man, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna do a spender now. He's doing a spender. spender. Yeah, that's um. Now, now that he's gonna lose Hulk here, he's gonna get a death decree, dude. The death decree on Wong Strike is gonna kill Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. All right, let's see what happens. That's, that's a... Oh my goodness, he's that's just monster, dude. Wall. Wrong. That's the, the unfortunate thing is that Thanos only had two health left. If that's, I think that's yeah. what we went into. Yeah. So it's like you spike like the, an insane amount. But it doesn't matter because you really only time. needed you, yeah you needed that. All right. I don't think I've ever seen five crits before, but it's the first. <laughs> I mean, I've have seen it before, but um, usually it's like lot. yeah. I mean, that's crazy. It's it's just insane. All right, so okay, Wong's, Wong's is, rolling uh, and he blocks nothing. Wong. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. He <laughs> Wong goes down. I would have braced that. Oh no, I can't. No, no, never mind. I'm wrong. Uh, now that Thanos is down, the Death Decree option is offline. So yeah, you can. Um, you're not gonna have priority. Kyle still, Kyle still retains priority, right? So he can just clear Dan, uh, Hulk next round. Maybe even take out uh, range. 
yeah as well again if he i mean he's definitely going to take out hulk uh the question is is he going to um is he going to get strange as well but yeah his, his sacrifice does make it iffy that's right all right so this was into into strange and he takes oh no hold on what what is going on here where's the where's the uh roll from T tony that was a throw then maybe nothing um maybe there was a lag or something yep, here we go here's the rolls we got five okay here we go and we're seeing kyle block with two all right it was a throw gotcha Okay, um, that's enough. It's physical, right? We got a dazed uh, straight. Wow, look at that. The whole team got flipped. And Hulk is like, oh, Hulk is not flipped, right? But he's <laughs> he's so done. Oh, man. I mean, this is this is big for Tony to try to come back from this uh, losing Hulk early, right? Yeah, poor Dynamo has nothing uh, now, to do. Now, if... Dynamo can set up for a good turn next turn. Uh, oh, he needs to really. He doesn't yeah. have much left after Hulk will go down. So he's gonna he's gonna win the researcher here. So he's gonna score his team. He's gonna score three points on his team here. One for the middle and one for the researcher, tying the game. But uh, this isn't a this isn't a uh, what is it? What am I trying to say? This isn't a points game. <laughs> this is a <laughs> this is no, a tabling this is a tabling for sure coming up here that's after round two we've got uh <laughs> oh my god oh my goodness Luke, is if you're if you're Kyle, would you activate first? You go with Thanos and just try to clear the board. Yeah, so Thanos lets you get uh lets you reposition Hulk outside of sacrifice range. Um, mm -hmm. so I would definitely do that. I would, um, yeah, I would do that. You all can also space gem yourself outside of Dynamo's, um, whatever it's called, sorry, the range three ability. So you could do both of those things. I mean, it seems like the most obvious, uh, thing to do. Oh, he lost, he lost Cosmic Portal. Oh, yeah, yeah. He can't use Portal. Jeez, so he's... Oh, he can always space, um, gem himself or another model at this point yeah so the problem is you can't use uh, the only displacement thanos has now is on his attacks while the wild triggers and dynamo can can disrupt that and sacrifice can keep the attack off of hulk the at least one attack off of hulk so the, re the reality is is that hulk needs to survive to one attack because he's gonna sack the other attack probably into dynamo there's the measurement and mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, so, so I guess you could do it with strange though, then, right? You would, you teleport Hulk away from sacrifice range with strange and you go with strange and you death decree. Oh, there it is. I mean, this is, and this is how I play my games. I like talk through like all of the different activations and like, like, all right, that, that, what I just said out loud with my words, like seems like a good decision and that's what I'll do. So strange teleporting Hulk away from his team and then death decreeing an attack is like the it's like as guaranteed as you can get. You could double teleport Strange and Dynamo and double tap Hulk. All right, there you go. Schmitz, look at that. I think that's that's also that's probably the best way to go about it. Then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Brady is agreeing. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. This is messy. Very messy. I guess they uh, are talking about maybe the researcher not moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're going to, I'm sure they're going to, I mean, um, all okay. right. He's leaving it there, I think, Strange is what, what's stop happening. Pulling. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to see another one. We're dead, I think, yeah. Oh, uh, plane of Poldock. Whoa, he's going to. 
Um, wow, this seems like the wrong attack priority here. But... Yeah, but oh, it looks like we're death decreeing a why did a oh, Wong paid for a plane of Poldock, so it means all mystic attacks going into Supreme Strange are um all mystic attacks going into Supreme Strange are he gets full rerolls on. So it's like Dark Rain, if you play Cabal, it's like Dark Rain, but you have to do mystic attacks, and that's the only other stipulation. And of course it has to be convocation uh, no it can be any characters. Get the reroll. Whereas he's blocking a lot. And he's got the reverse pierce. So That's right. Let's see the rerolls will come in here. He can reroll all of his skulls. He's gonna reroll everything first, and then he can do the reroll again on what he misses this time. Okay, so that's much better. Now we can reroll four. Um, but that's a that's effectively five blocks what Tony is rolling. So he's only pushing one through. Oh, it's, there's a pierce though, so you can convert one of the wilds. Uh and Oh wow! So Kyle rolling uh, nine in total, but depending on how this uh, Pierce and Reverse Pierce math works. Yeah. Out. So the way it would work is the one Pierce would Pierce one of the Wilds. So Tony would still would get uh, basically two blocks. One of them would be a Wild, which would effectively be three blocks. But Kyle has nine successes, so three blocks and a nine successes. Therefore, you're you're dead. Just enough. Yeah, That's exactly, enough exactly a, enough, yeah. Range. Oh my goodness. This was like, uh, okay. Um, and then Hulk is going to be t uh, tapped here. Now he doesn't have Death's Decree on this one. Hulk not dying here would be massive for Tony. So if this is a whiff, he's, if he whiffs twice here with Strange. Um, oh, Oof, three. Enough, oh yeah. yeah, that's not that's nothing. Yep, yeah, it's gone. And he can't reroll either. Yeah, I think that's pretty much game at this point. It's hard to come back unless Adam Logan becomes a hero, but Oh, uh, I think he's calling I think they're calling it. Yeah. That makes sense. Alright, yeah, okay. let's uh let's oh, jump in there their chat. Hello, Hello guys. Hello. That was uh thank you for letting us stream the game. That was incredibly violent <laughs> on mm -hmm. both sides. Oh. I hope the audience had fun. <laughs> yeah that was, uh, that was oh man yeah and um okay so um tony what did you think of when you got uh researcher demons were you thinking that kyle was going to bring uh the squad he brought or what, what were your what was your uh your where was your mind at when the crisis dropped i was not this expecting the thanos i should have expected the thanos that's basically my thought process when i chose the 15 and I, go ahead i honestly didn't i honestly didn't uh expect the thanos but i maybe i should have uh the um That's... we thought you had a great team like uh, i especially round 1 i thought you uh had um you had a great setup i, I think like of course like there you had the option of double walking and throwing and you took the, the I guess like the more aggressive route of hoping you'd get two damage through, so you could displace, so you could put damage through and get the displacement. Um, were you like considering that at all, or uh, what was your thoughts on that that first early on Hulk activation? I wanted some shocks on Crimson Dynamo, and that was a mistake. He really should have been a Wolverine or something, and maybe. Just maybe the Hulk was a mistake. I don't think the leaderless defenders was a mistake here because because Daredevil is poo poo against convocation. <laughs> right. So that's that's not on the cards, at least in my books. Yeah. So that, that makes sense. I like. I, I think the I think the uh, the basis uh, on the squad at, that I chose was correct. But I lost on round zero because I chose Dynamo instead of something like Wolverine. Right. Yeah. It's uh, it's tricky because a lot of the defenders' characters have that lower Mystic defense. But uh, the one other thing that like we caught that uh, I mean like it seemed like a decision point in the game is when you activated your Strange while he was healthy, 
and you did your attacks and you chose to do an area spender, area of, uh, of effect spender, and the other option available to you would have been to uh, scalpel the Kyle's Strange, who at the time only had, I believe, one power on him. And uh, and it would have like basically forced Kyle to have to spend an action moving. Yeah, um, yeah. So what were your thoughts? Like, were you just like basically you were hoping to push through enough damage to flip it? I guess you're saying what I'm hearing is that you were kind of playing from an uh, a underdog kind of position uh, from the start. So you're trying to hit some home runs, I guess, or some some big hits through. What were your thoughts on that strange activation? I wanted to get rid of the incineration. That was my thought process there. So I could get my original defense defense dice count back and maybe survive some damages. But when Convocation plays better defenders re-rolling than <laughs> defenders themselves, it's not really an option here. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, of course, like after, uh, Strange got to activate, uh, um, Kyle Strange got to activate in the middle of the board, that pretty much put the game on, uh, like when, when Hulk went to 19, I think like, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, he was dropping new there. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, you, um, you played Convocation at a recent event in person. Is this the team you brought? And uh, how do you feel about it? Yeah, this is um this is a roster I've been working on for a while. Thanos is the most recent addition to it. Um, I did pretty well at the event. I ended up winning it, which is yeah, it was was good. This is the team I've been playing for the most part. Um, I designed it around ring super attritiony, which you can tell with the uh, the three secures being the down the middles and then fit or uh the down the middles. Yeah, I think and then Fisk. Um. But yeah, it's uh, just a brawling team. It's kind of like Guardians Light, except instead of all energy, it's all Mystic. Uh, and you run Thanos and you beat people up. That's, that's that really. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The 15 here, I hadn't seen either of these configurations before being played. So it was really exciting to see. Um, was there any point that, uh, that you felt like um, he, your opponent, had a better board state than you? Or were there any port- points that you felt iffy on? Or how did you feel throughout the match? So I was worried when my first Thanos I or my first Thanos attack of the second activation or the second round uh had like two hits in it and no wilds. After yeah. having spent Cosmic Portal to put Dynamo out of the way, I was kinda worried um that I would like run behind an attrition because all it takes is one really bad attack roll and then it got a game like this for you to just lose. Uh but then he immediately followed up with six damage and a throw, which did five damage to Strange. So I was like, that's insane. Um. Yeah, it was completely brutal. Uh, immediately after that, so it was just at that point, uh, Tony just had a hard time keeping up with the numbers. Like having a Thanos at 19 damage on him at the end of round two is like, what do you even do with that? <laughs> like, it's it's tough. Yeah, it's brutal. But he was a good sport, and it was it was a good game, if very short one, unfortunately for the audience at home. But uh, oh well. Isaac, uh, do you have any questions for the players? No, no, I, I think you covered everything in the chat and uh, things are on my mind. But yeah, congratulations to both of you for making it as far. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, making okay. top 16 here uh, is uh, is an accomplishment. So congratulations to both you guys for getting there. And Kyle, uh, good job uh, getting to top eight. So that's pretty exciting. We'll get to watch uh, your next game. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you, sir, for playing me unfortunately it didn't go so well for you <laughs> it uh, was fun it was yeah, fun. better luck yeah you're a great guy to play with i appreciate it yeah yeah uh, yeah it was fun and to uh to everybody at home uh get more games in get more practice and you can make your round of eight next year too awesome guys okay well thank you very much um and uh and we will catch you next time and uh so good luck in your future matches and and uh have a have a good night or good afternoon depending on where you are Uh, Yeah, thank you for streaming. Yes. All right, that's another stream down. That was a pretty quick one. (laughs) It's a, it was a, it was a bloodbath. But uh, yeah, thank you for Isaac for joining me on the stream, and thank you for the players for letting us stream the game to begin with. And Kyle, uh, another Canadian, 
makes it into the top eight. That's three Canadians, all right? So that's pretty sweet. And uh, anyways, the last game of the bracket is taking place at noon Eastern time. So that's like, uh, that would be 4 p.m. GMT. And uh, that's happening tomorrow. I'll be streaming the game. And uh, and we'll see what happens there. That'll be Dylan versus R Rocky Boy. Or Rookie Boy, I think. I'm not sure how you say it exactly. But um, all right. Catch you later.